So now we have uh, a young man who's going to challenge us about whether we can get good education in Georgia or not. Right? Kids are coming to, to our schools and saying, well, why are you coming to the international park? Well, because I want to go abroad. Why do you want to go abroad? Okay, so here's a young man who tells us about it. Um, so we've got Nikolos, uh, uh, stereotypes versus reality. Nikolos. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to ask a question to the students. So, how many of you are going abroad for education? Well, but personally, I'm, me as well, I'm leaving, and most of you, as I can see, are planning to leave. So, what are the reasons for this? Well, in my presentation, that is exactly the point of my presentation, and I will try to uh, make it clear and talk about the stereotypes and the realistic problems that Georgian universities have. First of all, I'd like to say that you may think, uh, since I'm also leaving, you may think that I'm not in the position to talk about this problem. But I would like to say that uh, my decision was not affected by the fact that Georgian education may be bad. It was just that I've, ex I've gained a lot of experience abroad and home, my whole life I've been planning to go away. So, uh, and now I would like to take you back a little bit in time and talk about Georgian history. Uh, as we all know, Georgia is a former Soviet Union country, so does the fact that we are a former Soviet Union country still affect us? Well, I believe so. Mm, especially two centuries, first the Tsarist Russia for 120 years, and then the Soviet Union for 70 years is a very big period of time. So, as you can tell, it has a, it would have a very big effect. First, first of all, methodically, like education methods. In some universities, I'm not saying in most of them, but in some universities, the professors uh, are kind of overage and uh, have experience, have a lot of experience in Soviet Union, uh, Soviet Union, which affects their methodology of teaching. For example. The curriculums uh, in universities may be completely new, but the way that uh, the professors use the curriculum slows down the process because of the old methods and uh, enables children to learn properly. Um, also, during this period, um, during the two periods of Tsarism Russia and Soviet Union, there was a period of time when uh, Georgia was independent. In these two years, we've managed a lot of things. For example, we, uh, the manager of Ishvili has established a University called uh, Tulsi State University. But what's interesting about this fact is that Ivan Javakishvili has got his education also abroad in, in Russia, which may be that it is a fate of small countries to always get affected by the bigger countries. And now I would also like to show an interview of a person who's, um, who's had, who, who got a Georgian, Georgian education and has become successful and exactly proves my point. Hello, where do you get your education? Good evening, I got my education in Georgia, in Ivanija Alfishvili University. I was enrolled in a special group which was created by the university. There were three different fields in this group, finances, banking and banking jobs. Did you have any problems finding a job? I can't say that I had a lot of problems. I started working when I was 19 years old. Uh, the university was offered vac vacancies from different Georgian banks. I had to go through different stages, uh, stages and in the end I was able to uh, choose between jobs. You had two applications, one from a Georgian student who studied here and one who studied abroad. Which one would you choose? Uh, it is hard for me to decide with, ju uh, with uh, just this one criterion. In my opinion, I would choose the student who studied in Georgia. We need to compare the universities and it is also important to see how long the person studied abroad. Sometimes they go abroad to study for a short time just to have it on their CV. Sometimes it also happens that students get less education abroad than here. I would not decide on, uh, on the student who decided abroad just because they didn't get their education here. Personally, I like to see ambition and will to get the job. Uh, from your staff, how many people studied abroad and how many students study in Georgia? The majority of the staff have studied uh, have, uh, have Georgian education, at least the baccalaureate, but then it is also important, important to get experience abroad and then come back and use this experience here. Do you think it has become a stereotype that parents prefer to send their children abroad for education? In my opinion, it depends on time. There was a period of time when this happened very often, but now quite a lot of people have gone abroad and we have the possibility to compare the education abroad and the education here. We can see that it is possible to get high quality education here, but then again, I believe that it is important to gain experience abroad. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. So this exactly proves my point that most of the part of the Georgian edu education, the biggest problem of Georgian edu education is that there are a lot of stereotypes which affect uh, the de decision of parents. So how do you think, does the attitude of parents affect our decisions? Well, I believe so, and you can tell me that it's not true. 
Because, for example, me when I make it, when I try to make a decision, I always ask my parents. And um, uh, the decisions, for example, for some of you that you are planning to go away, is affected by their attitude. For example, uh, not for example, but it's because they don't have enough promotion and they are only able to think in one way. They're not uh, because of promotion. And also, like for example, in our school, a lot of foreign universities from Italy, Switzerland, or USA came to promote their universities. Um, and the result of it was that many of us didn't haven't even heard of those universities. And now that we know that we have a lot more possibilities, it, it is easier to make a decision. Um, also, the attitude of the employ young employers affects um, the decisions of the Georgian students. For example, we believe, or most of us believe, that um, if we don't get a foreign education, it will be much harder for us to get a, uh, get a job. And this, um, this interview process is my point that it's not true. This person was 19 years old when he uh, got a job, and since then he has worked his way up to the higher ranks, and now he's a general director of Bessie's Bank. Um, so, uh, as you can see, there are big problems uh, with, uh, not only with stereotypes, but also real, real problems. What could be the solution to this? As I said a, a few seconds ago, promotion is very important. So the parents and the students get a broader um, view of the, pro of the universities. Also, attitude of society and the government. Government usually shows that uh, they prefer uh, uh, people who have worked outside of uh, Georgia and uh, who have got the education outside of Georgia. Um, also, the important thing that really some Georgian universities have are the right libraries. Uh, not only the quantity of books, also, but also the language of the books. Some of them are in English, so students who have not studied English have problems to uh, get in-depth knowledge. Also, if you look on the internet, there are international ratings, and none of the Georgian universities qualify for the top uh, thousand universities. So the universities need to try and um, you follow a criterion which enables them, uh, allows them to um, qualify for international ratings, which will um, allow us to have more international students. In conclusion, I would like to say that even though most of us may be living, we still need to care about this problem and promote, help Georgian universities promote themselves for so that for forthcoming generations can study in Georgia and so that and then we can improve Georgian education. Thank you very much.